Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the 15th through the 21st. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So, we're just going to see what comes up. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross for this segment, then I'm going to go back to my regular one. We're just going to see what comes up for the week of the 8th. <laughs> Eighth. No, 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 not the eighth. I'm not going backwards. I'm moving forwards. The 15th through the 21st. We're going to start over here. We're not going backwards. We're starting over for the 15th through the 21st. Well. <laughs> High Priestess Reverse. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. <laughs> not trusting their gut. It's like their gut is telling them to do something and they're not doing it. Well, how come? How come you're not listening? Somebody's not listening. Keeping their true feelings to themselves. <sighs> Ego could be an issue. Um, loss of concentration, loss of focus, loss of energy. Somebody may not have the confidence, and they got to find the confidence, right? So confidence could be an issue. Somebody's going through a repression, a loss of self, and there could be loss of self-esteem or lack of self-esteem or lack of courage or lack of confidence. or hmm. Somebody may be focused on other things or something focused on something that they shouldn't be focused on. Maybe, I don't know, we're going to get a bunch more cards. And then we're going to go around again, okay? Mm. Yeah, it looks to me like some, some a decision is being made and perhaps somebody is starting to see a situation clearly. It looks like somebody may be seeing a situation clearly. They're starting to see a situation clearly about what they deserve, the Six of Pentacles. Somebody is reluctant, reluctant to... let go of a situation I think we got somebody here that's dealing with a lot of inner conflict a lot of inner power struggles they have to make a judgment call I, I do see a decision being made here Lovers reversed with the King of Pentacles reversed. Oh my God. Somebody's not making the right decision by the looks of things. Somebody's not being practical. I mean, the King of Pentacles reversed. Remind you, I'm Capricorn Moon. So anything I say to you, I'm saying to myself. Somebody's not being practical. They're focused on everything but love. That is the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse is a person that is focused on his money, his home, his job, his bank account, perhaps drugs. Focused on everything but love. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. Ooh. So now we have double. This is karma. This is karma. Okay. One of them is upright though. This is bad luck. Run a bad luck. This could be a loss. Somebody made a poor decision that has caused their life to be imbalanced and now there's a loss. Somebody may have treated another person unfairly. This is unfair treatment. Now we have these lovers reversed. This is a... Um, this could be the end of a contract or the end of a love affair, right? Or the end of a union, the end of a partnership. There's no partnership coming together here. No reciprocation. Two of swords reversed up there in the future. I feel as though... Somebody may be thinking, actually making a decision. They've been emotionally guarded for some time. 
somebody's put themselves through a bunch of emotional turmoil and they've been holding on to anxiety and resentment. Like I said, a lot of inner conflict. They have the ability to take control of a situation, to take the lead, to go after what they want, what they want, but they're keeping their their truth to themselves. They're keeping to themselves. They're not moving forward, not giving to a situation when they could give to a situation. Now that card is a card of reciprocation, so that is coming in presently. So maybe maybe somebody's I'm gonna go around in, again in a minute and get through reciprocation. But this is letting go of something out in the outcome. So in the outcome, I see somebody releasing, letting go, giving up. So you could be dealing with somebody that's giving up, maybe, or you're giving up. Either you're giving up, or you're dealing with a person that is giving up. Because of the delay, there's been a delay in communication, there's been a delay in uh, fixing a situation, whatever, there's been a delay, somebody hasn't been focused seriously, somebody has lost their focus and their concentration for, I mean, there's no love in these cards, none, no love here, somebody's not focused on love, whatever, I mean, you get that a lot, don't you, sad, sad world out there, very sad, anyhow, um, somebody's been treated unfairly. We have the strength card on the bottom. This is about finding the strength to let go. Finding the strength to fit your feet. <laughs> Face your fears. Somebody may be ready to open up. They may be. They may be getting ready to open up. Somebody may be in the t at the time at this time, mastering their emotions and keeping them to themselves, getting ready to open up. I'm not sure though. There's definitely been some unfair treatment here. I think we have somebody that has got retreated. You know, retreated from us, like retreat, maybe blocked communication or delayed communication or held back from communicating. They've been stuck in a whole lot of mental conflict. But this nine of wands reverse, that's releasing. It's letting, it is releasing. It is letting go or giving up. So, you know, sometimes people give up for, you know, Indecision. We have a bunch of indecision here. Somebody's giving up. Maybe it's giving up on the... Maybe somebody's been trying to protect themselves. We're going to go back around here. In the future, I mean, I really feel as though somebody is going to make a decision that perhaps does, this, this is... The truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. Somebody maybe may have been hiding their true feelings, but I think the truth is going to come out. Or it's already come out in some cases. The truth has already come out. Okay, maybe the truth has already been delivered. You know, somebody spilled the beans and that was a mistake. So, um, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't a mistake. I don't know. Um, we're going to go back around. Somebody is, is keeping to themselves, really, really keeping to themselves. They're not uh, ex expressing their, their true, their truth, and it's being hidden. They're hiding the truth, causing a lot of conflict, causing an, a lot of strife in their life. Um, patience is needed here. Some sort of patience is needed. Oh, goodness gracious. Ooh, the Empress. Yikes. Next to that judgment card. So maybe the Empress, you know, <laughs> said something. I mean, because here's the truth. You know, I don't know what's going on here, but we're just going to keep going. Um... So, all right. Wow. 
Wow. So right now we have somebody that may be walking away. Somebody may be giving up. So, like I said, somebody may be walking away and turning their back on a, a situation that's turned out to be disappointing. There's, there's probably... Um, Secret, something's not, there's probably a lack in communication, nobody's talking, whatever, somebody's walking away, somebody's like, you know what, this is too emotionally disappointing for me, I'm going to leave it behind, I'm going to leave it behind. Um, somebody needs to make a de decision, needs to make a choice. I think we have somebody here that's been really contemplating their options, and I feel like we, you know, somebody has to probably turn their back on a situation to move into another one, and... It's caused a, a lot of indecision, obviously. We have indecision here. Somebody's been really undecided as to whether they should move forward or not. They've definitely been dealing with a complex decision and keeping to themselves. So we have somebody here that's really been, you know, keeping their thoughts and their feelings, you know, inside, not really expressing them. Um, but this is a decision being made. Some, you know, maybe this one's somebody's walking away. Somebody is making a decision. This is the decision being made to walk away, to walk away from something. Now I don't know what. Oh, there's unfinished business. This is unfinished business. The world card. It's like something has ended. Okay, it's already ended. It is already ended, but there's somebody still holding on to it. They're holding on to the completion. They're holding on to the end. When it's time to step over that finish line, it's time to begin again. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to bring closure to a situation, but somebody is not allowing closure. It's like they're not, they're feeling, they're not, they haven't completed a cycle in their life. Somebody hasn't completed the cycle yet. They haven't healed. Somebody hasn't healed, they haven't evolved, they haven't changed. And then we have somebody that's getting impatient. We have somebody that's getting impa impatient and frustrated and probably deciding to walk away. So it looks like we have some sort of um, imbalance here. We have lack of closure in a situation and I think that somebody may be thinking about you know letting it go and they're in the process of making a decision as to whether they're ready to re you know start over or not you know we're going to come back to this Oh God! Right now, right now, this is this is patience is needed, right? Patience is needed. There's somebody is, you know, putting up a fight. Perhaps they may be taking back their opportunity. They may be deciding that this isn't this isn't real. <laughs> this isn't real. You know, somebody may be like, this isn't. This, 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 there's, there must be some competition here. This is competition, too. So somebody may be thinking there's competition. There's lack of integrity. You know, there's somebody's lying to me. There's somebody... Probably getting their wishes fulfilled someplace else. <laughs> somebody may be thinking that, right? Somebody may be thinking that, that somebody is, you know, getting their wishes fulfilled someplace else because their offer isn't being accepted. Look how sad that person is, you know. I feel as though there's a dead end here. Somebody, you know, may, may, may think, you know, I got competition. This is a dead end. They may be deciding that I have to cut this out because there's too much conflict here. There is too much conflict here. I think that somebody is watching. Somebody is, you may have a stalker or you may be watching another person. Somebody may be deciding to set up some boundaries and protect themselves from getting hurt. Because this does, it seems like this isn't real. It's like this isn't a real opportunity. It's not real. There's too much competition. 
is this person lying to me? Is somebody, what's, what's going on here? Somebody wants to know the truth. This person's like, well, I want to know the truth. Somebody may have received a message that they don't want to hear. Or they could, this could be just thinking. This person could just be thinking, like I said, be thinking that something is up. And that person is like, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I thought this was wish fulfillment. I thought this was going to be great. Turns out it's not even real. So. <laughs> oh, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's like somebody's lost hope. They've given up. They've given, they, know, they have no faith. They Somebody has, has lost faith. This is lack of faith, okay? Doesn't trust anymore. We got somebody here that is suspicious that somebody is getting their wishes filled, some fulfilled someplace else because they fear they have competition. So I'm not sure if it's you that fears that so this person has somebody else or they fear that you have somebody else but there's definitely suspicion here that there's another person hmm. lack of trust for sure somebody doesn't trust they don't trust that this is a good solid real opportunity because they there's been too much something We're going to go over to here. Judgment. Empress. Scorpio, Taurus, or Libra. So you could be dealing with anybody, but anyway. This is a woman who knows her worth. This woman, she don't settle for less. She's the goddess of love. We've talked about her. She gives birth to a new life. She can make anything grow. She gives birth to a miracle. She is a miracle. She's a blessing. She is. She's the goddess of love. She's ruled by Venus. She's beautiful. She's compassionate. She's kind. I mean, she is the goddess of love, okay? So we have this person here who... She may want a reconciliation. She may want a chance. She may want a chance. In the past, this is the past position. In the past, she wanted a chance. I don't know if she wants it anymore, though. We're going to find out. Judgment is the truth. She does want the truth. The Empress will only say she ain't going to play games. That's for damn sure. She's not playing any games. She knows her worth. She's has enough life experience to know better. She's done it all. She's done it all. She's, she's made one mistake after another, and she ain't making them at this stage in her life. It's over. So I really feel as though we have this empress that is wanting a chance, or she did want a chance, and she wants the truth. Now somebody, she may be releasing. This is a card of release. This is. This is a card of release. You think about Judgment Day, it's where you release. So yeah, we got a release here. And I do see a release over here too. So I'm not sure if she's letting go. Somebody's letting go of a situation. Because somebody's lost their focus and their concentration. And they're focused on everything but love. We dealt out some more cards. And there's still no love here. No love here. But we're going to get some more cards. Up here in the present, somebody is trying to appease. Somebody has a lot of people to take care of, right? I got to take care of my whole tribe, right? I got to take care of everybody. Somebody is trying to appease society, trying to take care of their family, trying to take care of everything, trying to keep everything structured and in control and looking good. And, you know, we have somebody here that is a real, real warrior. And not only is he a warrior, he is the perfect match. This is a power couple. This is a, a match made in heaven right here. These two people are a match made in heaven. They're meant to be together. But some she's, she wants the truth. Somebody wants the truth. Somebody is wanting them, or they did want a chance. 
but she knows her worth. So this is reciproc this is reciprocation giving to the situation. So we have the masculine here that is trying to keep things structured, trying to keep things under control, trying to take care of everybody, right? In his kingdom, wants to make sure that everybody is provided for but her. Well, maybe, and maybe he's taking care of her, but it don't look like it. Anyway, because um, she's over here in the past. I don't know. According to these cards... Anyway, we got this emperor here who may be getting prepared. He may be getting prepared. For, to come to give something he may be he may be working on building something up maybe his finances or something like that so that he has something to offer i think this this person is maybe this person is working on their health working on their inner strength finding mastering their emotions we have somebody here that is finding maybe they're working on their self-confidence they're working on their self-esteem um, we have we have somebody here that is getting prepared <laughs> getting prepared this is a protector to take to take the lead to take take action to give something? I don't know. We have somebody here that is getting prepared to speak up, to communicate. So, I don't know. I don't know. This is the Ace of Swords. This is a this is communication. This is the sword of truth. So, it looks to me like we have a masculine that is getting prepared, probably finding the courage and the confidence maybe to, you know, give a little or ho hopefully more than a little. I don't know. To give half at least, I mean, the Six of Pentacles is about, you know, the scales is on that. To give at least half to the relationship, you know, it takes, you know, equal give and take to have a relationship. It can't be one-sided. And I feel as though we have this emperor here that is probably building up his kingdom or building up something to, he's getting prepared to communicate something. Interesting. Interesting. This is making a decision. Seeing a situation clearly. He may get, somebody may get an epiphany that it's time to break free and get unstuck and stop sacrificing yourself for a situation that's going nowhere. I mean, this is getting unstuck. And moving in a new direction. So in the future, Capricorn, I see you getting unstuck and moving in a new direction. Making a decision to, you know, come out of this slumber, make a decision, of, a painful, stressful decision. Actually making the decision to move on, to leave that, that mental turmoil, to leave that... Um, resistance behind I feel like we have somebody here that's been resisting change because you know what they know is what they know but we have this change that has been needed this is a card of change and they've been resisting the change but I think that they're about to accept the change because they want balance and harmony this person's been really reevaluating and evaluating and evaluating and evaluating their path I feel as though we have somebody here that is about to move. They're about to communicate and make a move in a new direction. Now, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, I don't know. Um, there's that Six of Pentacles. What the hell was that one? Nine of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. Damn it, I don't know why I thought that was six. That's funny. Yeah, he's been holding it in. He's been he's been hold, he's been keeping it keeping everything to himself. He been like I said, I what I said was right. He's been building up. He's been he's been building up his abundance. He's been getting ready. He's been he's been building up his uh empire. 
keeping it to himself, unwilling to, to give. But this is the reciprocation. So we have it here. We do. We have somebody here that is about to, I think, give to a situation where they hadn't been giving because here he wasn't giving and here he's going to be giving or he or she. So I feel as though we have somebody that is moving in a new direction to balance and harmony where they are in a uh, equal partnership, you know, where there's equal give and take, where it's not one-sided. I think we got somebody that's about to take a new approach. Maybe they get this new idea or they get this epiphany that they need to give more to a situation. They need to get unstuck. Somebody has been not mastering their emotions and they've probably been through a bunch of uh, heartache. Okay? But I think that they've they've The storm is over. You know, the pain that they've endured, I think the storm is over. I think we got somebody here that has built themselves up to a very successful place. I think we got, we have a lot of abundance here. Somebody has found their strength and they've, they've stuck it out and they've, they've, they've risen back up. You know, it's like they've got to the point where they're, be, they're, they're feeling more successful. I think we have somebody here that is about to make a decision to get unstuck from a situation that was emotionally draining or didn't reciprocate and give their attention and move forward to this is another opportunity this is an opportunity with somebody that has their shit together this person has their shit together. This is this person is self-sufficient. This person is abundant. This person, this is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. Okay, this is it is. She's beautiful. She's she's abundant. She's she's a hard worker. She like I said, she can grow anything. She's self-sufficient. She's she's successful. We have somebody here that is getting unstuck from an unhealthy situation where there's no reciprocation and heading towards a more balanced, equal opportunity with somebody who has a lot to offer. Because there's a lot of passion there. This is there's a lot of sexual attraction. It's it's a, it's undeniable. There's there's a spark. Or there's a flame. It's it's it is what it is. So I see a, a new sexual partner here. I do, and I think it's after somebody lets go of a person or a situation that maybe that person didn't love them, or you know, could have been a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you know, somebody may have been <laughs> blocking this new abundant opportunity because of another person who has kept them stuck. That's what it looks like to me. I think we got somebody here that's kept a person stuck and, and now this person has reevaluated and they're ready to make a, take that journey towards abundance, towards, you know, A passionate new start with somebody who has something truly to offer them so I mean I do see a, a new beginning here and it's it's a it's a it's a attractive one put it that way so in the future I see a new partner new sexual partner Some of you are letting go of a false contract for actual wish fulfillment. Drop it. Drop the false contract where there's no love because there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment where, you know, you can have everything. 
You could have it all. But you got to be flexible and you got to be able to adapt and you got to be able to make the decision. You have to make the choice. Somebody has been making poor decisions because of their inability to accept change. There's been so much lack of balance and it's all because of their poor decisions, you know. You can bring balance. You can balance love and family, love and money. You can if you try. So anyway, somebody could be losing a relationship, losing a partnership, losing a really good match here because of their poor decisions. I mean, that could be the case. This, you know, somebody may be receiving bad news that, you know, you aren't the one for me. <laughs> this this is, you know, somebody is giving up on a contract that is not good for them. Somebody is. It's like, it's like it's not it's not There's no attractive. It didn't, it's not attractive anymore. It's not. Somebody is letting go. They're letting go of a the wrong suitor, the wrong contract, the wrong partnership for wish fulfillment. That somebody is doing that because they have a new opportunity for love. So yeah. So here we let go of the wrong one to find a wish fulfillment to to have it all. They make the decision to accept change and let go of the suitor that isn't good for us, that doesn't offer us anything for the real partnership, for real love, for, for the union, for, for peace, for the perfect match. So we let go of the wrong one for the perfect match. I mean, that's what this is. So I feel like the approach is what you need to do is let go of the wrong one so that you can have wish fulfillment accept change make the decision to make a better decision this time you know the wrong one is the wrong one if it ain't if it, if there ain't no reciprocation if there ain't no nothing positive about it then you know go after true love That is sad right there. <laughs> oh, God. We got somebody here that is deceiving themselves. Self-deception here. That's what this is. This is you, Capricorn. We got we got you guys. You may be lying to yourself, or you could be dealing with a liar. <laughs> we definitely got somebody here that I think is sabotaging their own success. Inability to shed the old. You got to think about the snake shedding its ki its skin. You know, you have to shed your old skin. You have to shed your old ways to bring success. And we got somebody here who keeps doing the same things over and over and over again, over and over and over again. That's not going to work. This is a new day and age. Somebody needs to, to you know, let go. Let go of your old ways. Manifest something new. There's an oppor opportunity to bring heaven right down here to earth if you take action. We got somebody here that is blocking their own success and that is no joke. Not being very wise, not being re very responsible, or not being practical. Not being practical. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Oh, God. Somebody is not being practical. Holding on to the past. There's, it's like there's no love there. 
Somebody is deceiving themselves by not moving forward, holding on to the past where there's no love there. Oh, God. This is ridiculous. You have an opportunity, opportunity to go for love. This is go follow your heart. That is the Knight of Cups. Follow your heart, follow your heart, follow your heart. Leave this bullshit behind. There's an opportunity for a relationship here, a new relationship. But you got to let go of the other one that was unrequited love. Maybe, you know. It's like somebody is blocking true love by holding on to the past when there's an opportunity for love. There's an opportunity for love. There is. Wow. Fear of destruction, fear of upheaval, fear of getting yourself in a false contract, fear of, you know, being treated unfairly. I think that you guys are, are stuck. You're resisting change. You're resisting this love connection, whatever it is, or something because, for one, because of the past, because of the memories of the past, because of whoever hurt you in the past that didn't come through that didn't reciprocate I think that's an issue here I feel like you probably have been treated unfairly in the past and you're afraid you're afraid to get a new to build a new foundation you're afraid to start over I think that you know somebody is holding on to a false sense of security because that's their subconscious protecting them and you know you're gonna have to face your fears at, at some point and and Stop sacrificing yourself needlessly for a false sense of security. Right now, I think we got somebody here that is really, really afraid of, you know, getting themselves into something that... might hurt them, right? Somebody's afraid to get hurt. I don't want to get hurt. We're dealing with this Queen of Swords here. You know, you may see that this person, this person may be a aggressive right she speaks her truth and she don't hold back she can't hold back she doesn't have the ability to hold back she 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 can't okay whatever she thinks she says because well she can hold back for a little while but i mean she's very intelligent very 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 intelligent so she she but sometimes she can't hold back i mean sometimes she can't she always she speaks the truth that's the sort of truth I think we have somebody here that she may be a little pushy, she may be a little aggressive, and she wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And if she doesn't get the truth, she will use that sword and she will cut you right out of your her life. You think about that song, Dark Horse by Katy Perry. You think about that song, you know, she's she's sweet. She is sweet, but if you she will turn cold as ice if you if you hurt her. But <laughs> here we have happiness, commitment, marriage. I mean, this whatever this is, that whatever you're dealing with, whoever this person is you're dealing with, you know, it could lead to happiness, it could lead to commitment, but you got to let go of your fear. You got to let go of your fear of being treated unfairly. This could lead to happiness, could lead to marriage. And I think that this person, whoever you're dealing with, I think you're afraid. So you may be intimidated. She is intimidating. She is very intimidating. Oh, and there you are. I think that you are definitely probably um, tempted. I think that you're really, really tempted to to let this person into your life. I think that there's a strong desire to, there's a strong connection. There's definitely an attraction to this person and you probably see that there's some sort of bond. There's There's an, there's an opportunity to, you know, probably start a contract with this person but i think that there's fear there's fear and the ego could in the, be in the way the ego could be in the way of of uh starting this contract Whew, we have a soulmate connection here 
We do. We got so we, you are dealing with with the with the with the empress and the emperor and the king and queen of swords. We have soulmates here. It's a it is totally the uh, partnership that is meant to be. But somebody is definitely letting their fears or letting their ego. Their, you know. Um, because they're focused on everything but love, okay, down here with the King of Pentacles reversed, their ego is in the way. They're focused on everything but love when there's an opportunity for love. There's an opportunity for a partnership here, but somebody is not seeing it because they're protecting themselves. You know, they could be dealing with some legal issues. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's issues at home. You know, maybe there's issues with the home. Maybe their foundation isn't strong enough yet. Maybe they feel like it's not strong enough yet, but I feel like this connection is... There's an opportunity for happiness here if somebody could be more decisive, okay, be more communicative. I mean, this is these are the swords of communication. It takes mutual communication to build a foundation, okay? And I think that somebody, this woman, she wants or this person wants to build and she wants to build a foundation, okay? This is a foundation, and this is a foundation. So it's like there's an opportunity to build a foundation, but it takes two to build a foundation, not just one. So, and it's been one-sided. It has been one-sided. I think there's been one-sided communication, and it's really hard to build a foundation like that. Anyway, I think that you are probably tempted to um, allow happiness into your life, but you're only tempted for some reason, you're only tempted, and I, th I don't know why. I think that you're really afraid to start over just to get, you know, rejected, perhaps. Maybe you're afraid of rejection, or you're afraid that, you know, you don't want to bring somebody into your family, into your life, to just not have it work out, right? But this this is so perfect. It is definitely perfect that, that I see. I mean, I think there's, well, let's get some more cards. Whew. This is removing obstacles from your life. This is letting go of the burdens, letting go of the, the, the struggle, you know, giving up on the struggle, giving up on holding on to something that doesn't serve you. That's what this is. This is giving up on something that doesn't serve you, removing that obstacle. That's when you stop lying to yourself, you know, and allow yourself to heal, okay? Allow yourself, and this is forgiveness, this is healing, this is recovery. This is recovering from a painful situation. So I think that we have somebody here that is recovering. They are releasing, they are removing obstacles, mental turmoil from their life. I think we have somebody here that is going through a period of healing. The outcome is healing. The outcome is also forgiveness. So, I mean, forgiveness... For not taking action, perhaps. For keeping it a secret. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness for not taking action. For keeping a secret about something. I don't know. I don't know. Eight of swords reversed with a nine of wands reversed. Letting go of emptiness, letting go of struggle. The outcome is letting go, letting go of emptiness, letting go of the, giving up the, the stance, you know, surrendering. Maybe asking for forgiveness. Maybe somebody gets some sort of epiphany. And decides that it's time to break free and it's time to live again. You know, it's time. It's time to live again. And I think we have somebody that has been really drowned in their own sorrow. But I see recovery. I see healing. I see letting it go and facing your fears. Because happiness matters. It's about happiness. So I, you know, I really feel as though you have a happy outcome here at the end of all this drama. I feel like, 
I really feel as though we have a person here that has lost their focus and concentration as they have been focused on somebody from their past. And I think this somebody from their past is like an unrequited love situation where there's not um, any love being reciprocated, okay? And they've held on to it for a long time. And, and now they, they have an opportunity to move into a new love connection. But uh, there's fear. Fear of it not going anywhere. Fear of, you know, making the wrong decision. And I feel, but there's a strong desire and a strong attraction and a strong, you know, gut intuition, I think, that is saying to do it. The, you know, I think the gut is saying to do it. But the logical mind is saying, no, no, protect yourself, protect yourself, protect yourself. You know, um, there's an opportunity for happiness and to build a new foundation, a new, a new commitment with somebody after letting go of this person that um, probably treated you unfairly. I think the person that you have dealing with you is a perfect, perfect match, the new one. And I feel as though... You have an opportunity to communicate and heal this situation, whatever it is. There's an opportunity to heal a situation and maybe, I don't know where forgiveness comes in because this is a card of forgiveness and so is the Three of Swords. So forgiveness may be needed here in some some sort of circumstance. Um, I do see that somebody's been trying to protect themselves big time. Um, there's been a, a lot holding on to a completion that has already ended, you know, not allowing themselves to move forward. Um, but this is a romance of a lifetime. It really is. I mean, this is the romance. It really is. There's an opportunity for a relationship that could lead to marriage. It could lead to extreme bliss, happiness with a whole lot of passion. You know, but communication is key. That is, you have the power. You have, this is the sword of communication. It's the sword of truth. So you have to communicate the truth to have success. You know, and we have this, this magician reversed over here who hasn't been allowing success into their life because ego has been in the way and they've been focused on everything but love when there's a partnership looking at them right in the face. Anyhow. So I think we have this week that, you know, is someone going to make a decision? I mean, it looks like they could. They could. Somebody's been being dishonest with themselves about how they truly feel. You know, holding back their true feelings. Or maybe, maybe, maybe they weren't holding back their true feelings. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, it go, can go either way. Somebody's been keeping quiet, and it's because of fear, for sure. Fear of getting hurt. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. You know, somebody could be giving up. Somebody could be with that nine of, you know, somebody could be, okay. Somebody could be giving up, holding on, because... There's there's emptiness here. There's there's lack. There's 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 mental turmoil. I mean, I don't need to have this. I don't need to lose sleep over this. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with this pain. I don't. I can't be dealing with any secrets. There's no action being taken. I gotta have to break free so that I can find happiness. So we got somebody here that could be giving up. You know, it could go. Through. I can read these cards all day long and come up with so many scenarios. It's not even funny. I can. I can't. I gotta stop somewhere. Anyhow, somebody needs to make the effort because great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. You want to lose the great love, or do you want it? This is the romance of a lifetime. And it could be lost because of somebody in the past. And that's what I see. Somebody is holding on to the wrong one. And that's what I see. And I don't care what anybody says. That's what I see. Playfulness. To recap your romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Try it. See what happens. You can do it. You can do it. 
I already I know this is a soulmate connection. I think I already told you that, didn't I? Calling in your soulmate. This is your the answer to your prayers. This is what you asked for. You asked for it, and this is it. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. If you have not met this person, say your prayers and believe it, and it will come. We have a, we have a new passionate opportunity here for something that can really set your soul on fire. But we got one person here that needs to take action that isn't taking action because of fear. But I have to tell you that both of these people up here, they're both honest. They're both truthful. They're so much alike. They have so much in common. It's going to be easy. I mean, it's an easy partnership. They're, they got so much in common. Anyhow, that's what I got, Capricorn. I feel like you guys have an opportunity for happiness after, after. You let go. That's the way it is. Good luck. <laughs>